guys welcome to your family point today's topic is acute pancreatitis very 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 important topic for uh, USMLE from uh, step 1 to step 3 so before starting this topic let me tell you that uh, I need your subscriptions please do subscribe for more videos okay let me start uh, very important the causes what you need to remember is alcoholism that's very more common than gallstones, thazites and drugs. Drugs you need to remember because sometimes in your assembly they will give a uh, the patient uh, they will not give the history of alcoholism rather they will give history of uh, drug intake okay so this is what exactly you need to remember these are very important things you try to remember memorize it okay let me start with the pathophysiology the pancamel edema and the Perin pancreatic fat necrosis occurs first. So sometimes in USMA step one, they will ask you which of the following could be the first thing to appear. Okay, so this is known as acute edematous pancreatitis. When necrosis involves the pancreas, accompanied by the hemorrhages and dysfunction of the gland, the inflammation evolves into hemorrhagic or a necrotizing pancreatitis. How to manage necrotizing pancreatitis? very important how do you diagnose very important and what are the steps you take to manage pancreatitis very important pseudocyst and pancreatic abscesses can result from necrotizing pancreatitis because enzymes can be walled off by the granulation tissue or a via bacterial seeding of a pancreatic or a peripancreatic tissue so it leads to pseudocyst i discussed earlier um, what is severe pancreatic pseudocyst how it is managed because the important points it is very brief just go and see my video and uh, play it again so that uh, you will come to know important points with regards to use uh, pancreatic pseudocyst so I will not take much time because I want you to guys to know the important points in USMLE okay clinical presentation how do they present they give the history that patient uh, comes with uh, mid epigastric pain radiating to back it could be aortic pain also right so tenderness and they give history of either drug history or alcoholism this is very important other than uh, this on examination you will get tenderness nausea vomiting could be associated okay so if you are suspecting a patient of acute pancreatitis how do you proceed so what is the best next step is what is the first initial step what do you do? Amylase and the lipase. I will give you two options. Which one is more specific? But initially you will do both. But which is more specific? It's a lipase, remember. Because amylase is also secreted by the mouth, oral cavity. So other things are there which causes secretion of amylase. So it's not so much specific than lipase for pancreatitis. Okay. Now most accurate test. Very important. Most accurate test is the CT abdomen. Very important. You need to remember. How to know prognosis how to know prognosis how the patient is doing ransom's criteria so ransom's criteria the red things what you see is ransom's criteria glucose ldh ast bun and wbc okay so these are very important points you need to remember about the ransom's criteria uh, let me start which is better test to know prognosis Sometimes you get confused with uh, which is a better test to know the prognosis of the patient, whether how he is doing. So it is a CT scan of the abdomen or the Ransom's criteria. Please tell me. It's a CT. Okay, CT is the best than a Ransom's criteria. New test to predict prognosis. There is a new test going on that is urinary assay trypsinogen activation peptide. Okay, uh, this is a new test. So just you can remember, remember it that's it otherwise no need how do you treat it very important a patient comes with acute pancreatitis what do you do first you start with the investigation that is with the initial investigation and a specific investigation like uh, CT scan of the abdomen and uh, send for a CBC BMP right so in meantime you have to start with the treatment first step supportive IV fluids nail per mouth and pain medication very important supportive is a very important step 
tell the patient not to take anything from by mouth okay fluid should be started and uh, uh, pain medication should be given because he is in the severe pain right so next how do you when do you use pain, uh, antibiotics look uh, if CT scan of abdomen so shows necrosis more than 30% start with antibiotics very important because uh, in Yosemite they will give what they will do is they will give you the history and ask you the diagnosis okay in the next step they will ask you the um, what is the best next step the fluid supportive therapy and they say that the city of the abdomen shows a necrosis of 35 percent what is which of the following is the next best step surgery antibiotics antibiotics can be used like imipenem and cefuroxime this is very important you need to remember Okay, US assembly points. What you need to remember about acute pancreatitis for US C K and C three, and step one also is the pathophysiology presentation. How he presents. Look for the history, past history like alcoholism and uh, drug history. Any drug intake that causes pancreatitis. Uh, diagnosis. You need to make a diagnosis. But sometimes in US assembly they give just a CT scan of the abdomen, and you need to find out history and the CT scan of the abdomen, and you need to diagnose it by the CT scan. Very important. So just. Google some images of acute pancreatitis and uh, try to know well. Treatment plan, how do you proceed? First with the supportive therapy, nail per mouth, IV fluids, pain medication, then and when to use antibiotics. So this is very important. And uh, other thing what is important is uh, just you need to know the what you call uh, um, uh, prognostic criteria. Okay, the, sometimes, it's, uh, sometimes it has been asked in the USMLE. So try to know about these things. Thank you so much for watching my video. Thank you.